Hello! It's Andy again from the EgoCast channel, and we are back to L.A. Noir. driver's seat. It must be one of my two new suits. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here Ooh, next to the map. Traffic. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss and a is dick. about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, fellas. What's up, buddy? You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. <laughs> oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? He's intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on nice you. Nice jacket. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory, make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. I like that his tie is, matches Who his that, jacket. Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. Yeah, find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. What up, yo? Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. Order, Phelps. Ooh. <laughs> Shh, quiet, there you go. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why you war heroes always so modest? I'm partnering Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. That's, well, that's why we are partners, game. right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. Do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda, Patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Oh yeah. Phelps. Foul play. That's the only kind of play I like. That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down in my sap. Guy gave his wife a tap. I said, they really all pushed you through down. quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. Yeah, it's because I'm awesome. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. I'm just the shit. That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Canary says he'll sing. 24 hours. I guarantee he walks. You going this way? You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal. Oh, I guess I'll drive. I'll direct. Here we go! All units of 459 just occurred so, in 6th and 7th. So, send me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we identify. friends now? Oh, dispatch call. We have to work together. Ouch. Are you blind? Sorry. Sorry. I'm bad. I got a call. We there we go. What's going on? Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Ooh. Well, I guess we'll have to shoot him then. Yep, there he is. Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. Well, I'm glad he's just chugging along because I ain't fucking going anywhere quick. Sorry. You can still catch him. Get him, get him, get him. Uh, 
Oh shit, he's shooting. Oh man. Accidents and shit. Should I be just shooting this dude? I'd probably just plug him. Well, god damn. He's quick. Oh fuck. On, I should have just shot him. Let's negotiate. Put the weapon down now. I'll negotiate with you. You want a bat? How about that? How about that for a negotiation, bitch? Something tells me I'm going to be seeing a lot of Hershes in this game. Get in. Come on, get in. Come on, get in. Here, let me move forward for you. <laughs> All right, I'm serious now. Go ahead, get in. Come on. Don't be a bitch. Get in. Get in. Come on, pussy. God. Take a little joke. And here we are. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give him your story and you'll be all right. God, fucker. Look at those white walls. Yeah. It's nice. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. All right, let's get there. This guy's got to go to work. I'm Officer Hart. What's up? Traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Oh, shit. Someone's copped a full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right. We'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Hmm. Nice day for I'll it. I'll talk to you in a second. Let's look at this shit. How long you gonna keep me here, sir? Okay, I guess I'll look in this direction. I better get back. Oh, it's in the trunk. How's the world looking? Oh shit. Oh, the same Nothing significant. Fight. Nothing significant. It's a tire iron. It's a murder weapon. I've got a mystery sample waiting at the lab. Practical Joker say it's contaminated soil. My guess. Uh, Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. For three bucks? Damn, that's a good deal. Yeah, I put that right back how you found it. And that's it. Oh fuck. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Looks like he exploded. What's up, man? You're bald. Yeah, that dude fucking exploded. What do you got going on? You got on? a wide shot of the car and its surrounds? Listen, you and I have never met, so I'm just going to go ahead and say this once. You don't tell me how to do my job, and I won't tell you how to do yours. Okay. You're a nice fellow. I'm stumped. I'm not Ideas? stumped. Check the whole area, detective. Assume everything's a potential lead. What? 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 No. What is it? What is it? Right there. Stenzel. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. 
Yeah, he was definitely a nerd. Nerds! Yeah, I hear a wallet. There it is. 32 years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Probably getting a fucking blowjob. You know how those average guys are. What's up, baby? Happier times, I guess. Anything else? Nope, nope, nope. All right. Oh, what else do we got going on? Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, fuck. Brand name might give us something to go on. Insta heat. <laughs> All right. That is definitely a murder weapon. What else we got going on around here? Anything? What's going on, detective? Something bad happened here? Shut up. Well, I don't see shit else. So it's time to go and interview some motherfuckers. What's up, buddy? Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. Nice to meet you. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. So when did you kill the guy? I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Hmm. Mind if I ask what you were doing Yeah, good here? question. Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Do you oftentimes take this here shortcut? Nah, I believe him. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Who you calling boy? Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Yeah, I buy it. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. Oh shit. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars are parked here regular, so it kind of stood out. Mm hmm. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Oh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not saying that you're lying. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your And fuck you. Me? Maybe I checked inside that uh -huh. wallet. Uh -huh. Not that I was going to steal uh -huh. anything. Yeah. Maybe I took a look. Yeah. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Sucks for you, huh? We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Mm. Yeah, I buy it. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. <laughs> Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. Yeah, I got four to four correct. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Yeah, it's just a man's life. The wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there. You know, I guess, but fuck it. Well, actually, hold on a second. I'm going to talk to you. We're going to notify the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. No. Okay. Well, I guess there's nothing to say to him. I could talk to the uh, coroner, I guess. That'd Doc. probably be a good idea. Detective Phelps. What's up, sweetie? What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. No shit. Victim must be in a very bad way. No shit. <laughs> Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. No. Not in the trunk. I looked in the trunk. No trunk. Receipt for a pig. That mean anything to you? All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go get the bad news. Six twenty Bunker Oops. Hill Avenue. <laughs> you know where that is? <laughs> Behind Bunker Hill. Couple blocks north of Central Station. Damn it, lady! So the fuck you, crazy? Man, here we are. Doesn't look black. Black residents. 
It's yellow residence. Yeah, it's like a yellowish green residence. What the fuck. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Don't worry, I am. Just a minute. I get blown everywhere I go when I tell them oh, their husband's dead. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Uh-oh. She seems upset. So when'd you murder Your him? Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. No. We've just had a new water heater installed. Uh. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window. Mm -hmm. At the side of the house. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My so why'd you kill him? Take a look around. Was Are he cheating ready? on you? We're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't believe her. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. We got nothing in here. It's all pretty standard. Uh-oh. Airplane. Really? This is what I'm looking Doesn't at. Give me anything to go on. Why did it tell me to look at that? Yeah, I'm not looking at everything. Mm. What's over in here? What are you? What are you? Can't open you. All right. Have a good look around. There's what is something what in is here this? to go on. Oh. Oh. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, your friend of Courtney's. Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. Hmm. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is this? It takes a long time to inject whatever that is. I want to take you on a journey. Uh oh. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past, the occasions that made you laugh. Times that made you smile. Mm. Hmm. <coughs> Son of a bitch. I don't know. Something tells me that that guy is trouble. What are we doing here? She's polishing silverware. I don't need... I don't care about that. What? What is this? Insta-heat. Yep, there it is. $82. Damn! Shit is cheap in the 50s. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Aww, Maybe it's time shit. we took a look around outside. Yeah. I'm telling you, this bitch is dirty. Fucking dirty. Anything on the fridge? Anything in the trash? Check it for semen! Whoop. That looks important. Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Hmm. Who indeed? What we got going on here? Oh wait. Gold handles. 
Gold handles. There we go. Well. Another one of those. Mm hmm. Maybe Adrian was a patron. Maybe. Aren't I should have an address. Where is the investigation assisting other inquiry there? By telephone. Okay. <clears throat> what? That looks like a well, glasses case. Adrian's. Stenzel. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. There we go. Look at him. He's a happy guy. Oh shit. To Nicole. This thing gets more and more. Oh, kiss, kiss. Uh oh. Uh oh. Used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Yeah. Man, there's all manner of fucked up shit going on here. Well, what the fuck? Do you... Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? <gasps> I wonder if he's gay. I wonder, I bet you, Nicole is like a tranny, maybe. And he's running off with a chick with a dick. That is going to be my guess for right now. Chicks with dicks. He's leaving his wife. He got the pig. He killed the pig with a pipe so that people would think he was dead. So that they wouldn't find out he's fucking a tranny. Those are fucking... It would take a smarter man than me to connect prune. that. Prune. What the... Why does I have to look at every good goddamn thing in this fucking game? No use leaving well, the thing Well, that shit's finished. busted. Really? I'm gonna fix shit. There we go. Apparently, I'm also a plumber. That's why I'm so good. There we go. And you. You go... There. <clears throat> And that leaves you. And you go there. And that leaves space for the murder weapon. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. I'm telling you, man. Fucking wife did it. She found out that he sucks dick on the weekends. Yeah. Yeah. Birds of Paradise. <clears throat> Can't go in there. Black handle. Nothing around out of here. That's kind of nice. Tool shed. Black handle. Just walk through all the flowers. Alright. I got some questions for this bitch. What was that? What is that? I've already looked at that! Oh, I gotta call them. Operator, give me dispatch. Yeah. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. <laughs> we need to get drunk. Kavanaugh's Bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks for your help. Is that like a tranny bar? 
This is gay bar. I'm all right now, detectives. All right. Here we go. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? <clears throat> Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. Uh, God knows what he's up to. Oh, shit. The plot thickens. I'll buy it. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. Uh, They're always out drinking. So he is him. gay. He needs to keep his distance from the staff. Uh, Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Mm-hmm. Okay. So nothing out of the usual, then. <clears throat> well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. Mm hmm He normally never leaves for the bar till about 7. Hmm. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's Speaking bar. Speaking of the bars. How did you know that? <clears throat> Adrian practically lives there after work. Okay. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Business, huh? Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Mm, all right. Go on. <clears throat> I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. So he has a second pair of glasses. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Okay, okay. You and your husband are in separate bedrooms. That shit I'm not buying. What gives? Did you want him out of the way, Margaret? Yeah, Margaret, Margaret! No, I did not. My husband and I may have drifted apart, it wasn't my choice. Of course not. It's fifties. <laughs> I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are That's you? That's fucking exactly what I'm doing. Oh, what an awful thing to say! Tell me the truth, bitch. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Anybody to corroborate that? Huh? God damn it, I believe her. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. We'll keep you informed. Mr. Five out of six. Please do, detective. Five out of six. What did I fuck up? Rig ten. Ooh, hidden vehicles. Nice. What did I fuck up? That all sounded good to me. Alright, let's head to the bar. Let's get a drink. If this hadn't happened, God damn it. Miserable together That's what you get. Whoops. That was another cop car. <laughs> no stars. That's kind of cool. Kavanaugh's. Fucking noon and already hey, people drinking. You. Love it. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Thanks <laughs> for running for someone. Yeah, I'm looking for you. I'm going around there with a base. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. God damn it all. I asked him to hold the mayo. Boy, that steak is seen better. Frank Morgan? Who's that? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Yeah, I don't buy that shit. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight <clears throat> depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, mm -hmm. don't tell me you actually believe this jerk. Punch him in the fucking face. No, no. 
I think you were in on it, Morgan. You drove down there, and you let Black have it. Ooh, I'm a bad boy. That the best you got? Well, fuck. When did you last see Adrian? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I had plenty to drink last night. Things are a little sketchy. Nah, you're fucking lying. You're lying, Morgan. What happened to Adrian? I have ten guys who say I was here the whole night. You think you can prove I was there? Man, I don't think that was a good one. Oh, oh, yeah. You signed your name and left it on the slaughterhouse receipt, Frank. That's right, bitch. We shouldn't have you colder if we found you curled up in the back seat. All right, all right. I helped him. He wanted it to look like his car got hijacked. He's fallen for some dame up in Seattle, and now he's got to go start a new life with her. Goddamn fool. Oh. Well, where where is exactly he? is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Nah. Nah, I don't know. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out. Yeah! He's holed up at my place. <laughs> He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. I knew it. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. Fall it like a cheap Thanks table. Well. Thanks for your help, Morgan. Two out of three. We appreciate it. God damn it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Mm -hmm. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. He just refuses <sighs> to accompany me to church. I'm not going to arrest him. There's no point in arresting him. What are we going to arrest him for? Knowing that a dude's fucking around on his wife? Yeah, go ahead. Whoops. Okay, he made me do that. He made me do that. Oh, shit. calling 11K. 11K, go ahead. Message from technical services. One found in the abandoned Lincoln at the PE freight depot is not human. Repeat, not human. Yeah. Compositional analysis reveals swine as the most likely Big match. blood. Roger, KGPL. Got to reel this guy in, Phelps. Here we are. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Number two. Well, what am I looking at? F Morgan. Fuck Morgan. Apartment two. Oh, look at him launch up those stairs. One and four is this way. That, I can't tell what that is. Here we are. Here we are, too. Help you, gentlemen. Gotcha, bitch. LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. Mm -hmm. I just needed to get away from L.A. Uh -huh. I won't put up a struggle. Just good. Let me get my things. Because I don't want to have to fuck you up. Oh, I'm going to have to fuck him up. Man. Where is he going? Up or down? I hope he's going up. Oh, he's going up. Oh, I'm going to fuck this dude up. You're making me run. You know how much cops hate to run. I should shoot him. Oh, so tempting to Mr. shoot him. Black, get back here right now. Yeah, let's slide. Get him. Over, Get him. There, Get him. Beat the shit out of him. I'm clean with her, Black. Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA oh, has to say shit. about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. Oh. You're going to lose your wife, Fuck. lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. And slaughtering livestock without a license. Ha-ha! Tack on another one. And pissing me off and making me be run. quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Thank you. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here. You could go a long way in this department. Yeah, I think Bukowski needs to learn from me. 
He didn't do shit but drive the car. Once. Ah, oh, I missed a clue, too. Man. <laughs> Vehicle damage. City damage. That's a lot of money back there. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Black is no doormat. The right evidence she would have spilled the beans on her husband. Ah, oh, well, fuck me. What are you going to do? All right, well, I'm going to leave this one here. That was fun. I love this game. This game was great. And, uh... <clears throat> I hope you liked it too. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, then hit the don't like button. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please leave them in the comment section. And until next time, have a good day and bye bye.